All right. Oh, what is up, y'all? Ostrogen, thank you for the 21 months in a row. I appreciate that. Double chocolate chip, happy Sunday. Sunday fun day, as I like to say. Mr. Hayes, ba -na 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 -na. Yeah, what's up, Coda? Now, Vistador, how's it going, Chief? Welcome in, one and all. Uh, I think we're probably going to have some time to learn any percent glitchless today, but I'm probably going to have to down patch at a certain point because I don't know if they're running any percent glitchless on current patch. I, I know that like some people are, some people aren't. I don't know. I was hearing from Mitch yesterday that technically current patch is faster because you do like more stagger damage or something. I, or they buffed reposting, I think. Something like that. I don't know. I don't know how deep the rabbit hole goes, but I'm probably just gonna do what everybody else does. So if nobody else is running 1.1, I'm probably not gonna run it either. <laughs> That's just gonna be the way it is, Chief. But I've been thinking that it's time to get back into speed running for a while. So we don't have a lot to do left on this file to set up for the DLC. I'm not gonna kill Melania. I don't think it's going to affect the DLC at all. It'd be cool if it did, but there's there's not really a point in me like going to Ferramazula or any of that yet, so 
I'm gonna go get some of the talismans that I think that I need, and I'll probably go ahead and do all of the Nocron stuff. But that's probably all I'm gonna worry about. Like, I, I wanted to get all of my physics stuff yesterday, which we did that, so that's good. And I want as, I'm not gonna be able to get all of the talismans, but I wanna get as many of them as possible. I might see if I can have somebody mule me the rest of the talismans. I wonder how many people are going to be going into the DLC on like New Game Plus 7. <laughs> like just like a character that they have like a thousand hours on just like grinding out New Game Plus. I don't I don't know if I would recommend that as like the way to experience the DLC, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I have no idea. I'm not going to do that. I can tell you that much. I'm definitely not going to do all, do all that. And that reminds me that I'm pretty sure that that Xbox save file that I had wouldn't have worked anyway because I think I did do New Game Plus on it. I was thinking about doing my first DLC playthrough on Xbox because I could do the uh, New Zealand trick, as it were. But I don't think I'm actually going to do that. I don't think I'm going to do the New Zealand trick this time around because I don't the thing is I don't want to start I don't want to start on Xbox and then just move over again to PC like I just I don't want to do that although I do want to lab out some stuff maybe ahead of the release of the X-Pack just to see how fast you could get to Moog. I'm genuinely curious. Something tells me that we're gonna we're gonna get um probably we're probably gonna start with samurai would be my guess. I'm gonna get into it today though. Oh, I need to pull up my list of talismans that I want. Okay. Let's see. I, some of this stuff I'm going to have to go to Nocron for. Alright, so I think what I should do to start is go to... Hold on. Real quick. If I try to equip, I don't think it lets you. Yeah, you can't equip... Uh, you can't equip those. Okay, that's what I thought. So I think for the talismans that do have like a plus one or a plus two variant, I'm just going to go for the plus, like the highest, the highest variant that I can get my grubby little hands on. We're gaming on our grafted blade greatsword plus nine. Yeah, let's go ahead and do the Nocron stuff. So I already defeated Radon, of course. So we're going to go to Fort Height. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. I thought I might have jumped a little too far. That was going to be scary. Okay, here we go.
So yeah, we'll do the ancestral spirit down here among a couple of other bosses. We'll probably go ahead and tackle the deep root depths as well. I don't think that we're so far into the game that like all of the quests have failed. So if we want to do if we want to do Fortisax, we might be able to do the quests. Can I make that jump? Okay, sure, surely we can make that jump, right? Oh! Yes. The Ghost Flame Torch. Yeah, get him. Alright. Let's go. Okay, there's a scarab down here. Where is it? Oh, that's just a health one. Never mind. Never mind. if there's any items over here or not, but I'm going to take a look around. I know that there's some stuff over that way. Oh, here we go. This is a bell bearing, right? Yeah. I think what I need is just over here. Well, I don't need any of this stuff technically, but being the hoarder that I am, you know, just Probably gonna get boxed in over here. Need to go down those stairs, but I'm gonna check and see if there's any other. Any other items? I think that's it.
All right, mimic tier. Perfect. All right, we're gonna get the Finger Slayer Blade. <clears throat> and all that good stuff while we're here. I think we're going to probably want to progress Ronnie's quest line at least a little bit. Mainly because I want the talisman. Mogwin Palace. Mikola, he's over there. He's over there, chat. <clears throat> right, we'll grab the remembrance and everything while we're here, too. So, all right, we took care of that. Did this one. We'll grab the Finger Slayer Blade next. <laughs> it's my attempt at recreating the ancestral singing chat. <laughs> I think this is right. Yeah. It's been a while since I've been here. Is there not an item over here, though? I thought there was. <gasps> no! No! <laughs> Whoops. I am, uh, shall we say, not the best at platforming in this game. <clears throat> Okay, so I guess, yeah. All right, okay. There's no item there. Darn. It's all for naught. Hey, Avenged Wolf, what's up, buddy? How are you doing, man? Rocking some party animals with a buddy. Thought I'd catch some Elden Ring action. Feeling better? Uh, yeah, a little bit. 
seasonal depression starting to set in. Which is uh, suboptimal. Suboptimal for the blade. I didn't get I didn't get a bout of seasonal depression as badly last year because RE4 came out like right when it would normally set in. But we don't have any like major releases that I'm excited about that are like keeping my mind off of it. Oh no, not again. Oh. No. Um. So yeah. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, that is uh. Not being alleviated as well this year, but we're getting through. How much does it cost for me to level right now? 65k. That's not bad. Oh, my runes are way up there. What the heck? So weird. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm gonna jump onto the wall. It's gonna be great. Can I loot these? Yes, I can. Nascent butterfly. Go get our mimic tier ash. Oh, I wonder if we're gonna get new uh, spirit ashes in the DLC. I mean, I would assume so, right? It would make sense. Right? I mean, we're gonna get new weapons and all that stuff. Ash in the game. Right there, dude. Mimic Tier is so good. It's funny because Mimic Tier was so strong at the beginning of the game's release that a lot of people, myself included, thought that there was definitely going to be a chance. How do you get up there? Um, I don't see a ladder. How would you get that item? Can you like jump through a window? Is that a thing? Illusory window? No. Not how you're supposed to get up there. Be a ladder or something over here. Otherwise, how would you get up there? 
unless there's like a window you can jump through, but I don't see anything of the sort. Oh, hold on. There's a there's a thing over there. Maybe there's something. Maybe there's something. I don't know. Whatever it is, I don't think I can get to it from here, so I'm not going to worry about it right now. We'll grab the grace, we'll grab the finger slayer blade, and then we'll figure out what the heck we're doing. Celestial Dew. Get him. I think there's anything back here, but I don't know if I've ever checked. Maybe I did in my first playthrough. I don't know. All right, we're getting we're getting the blade. Not the God's Bane blade, the Finger Slayer blade. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hidden treasure of the eternal city of Nokron. we can go ahead and take care of the ancestral spirit while we're here. that go away that bad dog bad dog formic rock oh oh no don't do it i'll be good i swear If I've ever been down here before. There are a lot of butterflies down here, though. Holy cow. Oh, no! I thought it was shallow, dude. I thought it was shallow. Yeah, I don't think I've actually been down here before. Didn't know that this was a place.
You find something new every time you play this game, right? Wait, where am I? Why am I not? Okay. Why am I not at the freaking grace, dude? Happened to you too? Yeah. It was just a slight oversight on my part. Gosh. Ooh, just a slight one. Try that again. No. Okay, there's zero chance. There's zero chance I'm making that jump. Zero. Between me and yon chest, okay? You're in between me and yon chest. So I'm gonna need you to, uh, you know. I need you to, to go, go ahead and get out of here, you know? Allow me to open yon chest. All right, back to the path. Some formic rock. I don't think I've ever picked up that crafting material once in my life prior to today. So much stuff that I missed. So much stuff. Uh. Ooh, enchanted shot. Sniped. Okay. I think this head, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, there, there's a bigger one that you can get. But I think it actually uh, does damage to this boss. Yeah, 
yeah, it does damage, but it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, okay. Come on now. Please. Please. For you to go. Go back to your home among the spirits. Isn't there a uh, thing that you can teleport out with? Maybe not. Maybe not. No, no, no. There's, there's definitely a thing. It's right here. Can't wait for the best boss in the game. Coming up here. The, the twin gargoyles. I can't freaking wait, dude. Amazing boss. Hello there, item. Don't mind if I do. I don't think you can just backstab these guys, unfortunately. <laughs> that poor guy. He got a he got a little carried away. He got a little carried away in his Giga Gaming and uh Unfortunately, it spelled out his doom. Hey, I've, uh, you know what, though? I It's fine. I'm not going to make fun of him, okay? We've all been there. We've all gotten a little ambitious in combat and accidentally rolled off a cliff. It happens. No judgment. That was pretty bad. Pretty, pretty brutal, if you ask me. <whistles> oh, 
Oh no. Oh. That was close. Okay, admittedly the ghost flame torch guy kind of threw me off. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna just chalk that up to a uh pure accident, okay. Totally accidental in nature. Didn't intend for that. In any way, shape, or form. That's it? A somber six? I feel scammed. Order healing. He was trying to bat his chest with shield in hand. I don't think that that quite worked out in his favor. You're not dead. Oh, neither of you guys are dead. Okay, that's great. Do you do anything else? No? Okay. Best boss in the game right here. Love it. We took care of this one before the other one showed up. That's good. be fine.
All right, it's time to go to the dank root depths. The dank root depths, everybody's favorite place. be very uncomfortable flying upside down on that thing. How much strength does this weapon require? Uh, it requires 40 strength. You can power stance at 27 to get the 40, though. This is arguably one of the best early game weapons in the, like, in the entire game, if it weren't for the fact that you do still have to kind of run like, you have to run to the complete opposite side of the starter zone to get it, which kind of sucks, but... that staff has a special effect at all. Have to look at it. Guys are like heavily armored in the uh, in the dome ski region. Gotta uh... Gotta get around the dome ski to do any real damage. There you go. There you go. The dome ski. Nor normally, right? You know, you go to a game like Dragon's Dogma, right? And you pop a Cyclops in the dome ski, and it, uh, it falls apart pretty quick thereafter. In this game, some enemies are. They take less damage in the dome ski. You gotta hit them in their, their little bodies. Hey, Sifel, how's it going, buddy? I don't think that there's anything else over here, but there are some items in the root system that's over here. NG plus? Uh, no, this is a new game. 
doing some DLC setup before we start learning speedruns. Just gonna kind of keep this character on the back burner until the DLC drops. That was all, actually. Yeah, no, that's everything. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, actually, I think we can go this way. Come on. I know that's the one we have to do to go across. But I think there's a cave or something. Yeah, there's a cave over there. I did I did remember a cave of sorts. Oh, these ones don't have the armored uh Armored dome ski. Nice. I thought that was going to hit me. Uh, no, Millennia's still alive. I'm not going to kill Millennia on this file. I don't know if it's going to affect anything in the DLC, but I'm not going to bother with, uh, with Millennia. 10,000 damage. Wait, no, hold on a second. Newman's runes are like... One of the highest value runes in the game, right? And they're they're just they're just chilling. They're just chilling right there. Okay, alright, that's fair. Oh, hello. The amount of poise that you get from this weapon is kind of insane. Not gonna lie. I'm having a lot of fun with this weapon. I don't normally do great swords or colossal great swords or anything like that. I don't do them very often at all. It's, this might actually be uh, one of the only games that I've ever even tried remotely. Uh, where do you get the weapon? Uh, so the castle that is in the very, like, southernmost part of Weeping Peninsula, when you kill the misbegotten, like, the the red misbegotten boss at the very end of that fort, he drops this weapon. I want to say this is considered one of the legendary weapons of the game. I think there's ten total. I think this is one of them, if I'm not mistaken. called the Grafted Blade Greatsword. That was a lot of Newman's runes. Holy cow. I didn't realize that those ants dropped those. They might only drop them if you if you beat them by popping their egg sack. I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure. Ooh, Elden Stars. Can I drop you runes? I'm sorry, but I cannot. I'm actually not online right now. 
I have mods installed. Well, I, I have mods installed, but they're used for like the purposes of speed running and stuff. I still have more to install actually, and by installing those mods, you can't play online, I'm sorry. Okay, oh, down here. Uh, yeah, I can't believe that you get five Newman's runes. How many, I, I don't mind sacrificing one for science here. How many do you get from a Newman's rune? I think it's like 40K maybe? Oh, never mind. It's only 12.5. I mean, even still, was that four or five that I got there? That's a lot of runes for, like, considering the fact that you can get here pretty early in the game. Well, killing the gargoyles is a whole other issue, I guess, but. I don't know that I would consider this an early game area, per se. Although when we were running any percent, uh, or not any percent, when we were running all remembrances back when the game was new, you came here pretty early in the run. Because this is actually how we used to get to the capital. We used to take the, uh, the teleporter that shows up here after you have two great runes. This is a pretty cool place, though. There's a lot of lore here in this part of the game. A lot of lore. It's basically like the core of the Crucible. What would eventually become the Erd Tree. I forget, is this actually under the capital? Yeah, it is. We are quite literally under the Erd tree right now. Huge. The fact that this is a place you can go is just insane. It almost like in terms of just like the like mythical locations of this game. This is kind of, in my opinion, like the equivalent of Ash Lake in DS1. Which Ash Lake in DS1 lore is kind of like the uh, the expanse of gray crags and arch trees that existed before the first flame. a grace up here. I'm gonna try to get to that here in a second. I did not loot into the, the entirety of the... Oh no! Crap. That's my fault. Forgot Torrent doesn't handle sharp turns very well, so... But yeah, it definitely reminds me a lot of that. Although I do find it interesting that these, some of these don't look like roots. They look like actual trees. Which almost begs the question of like, because like these are not, okay, I guess those are roots. They do kind of look like other trees though. But yeah, the lore here is insane. might even argue that this this uh, region here is almost as old as time itself as far as the lands between is concerned whoa what is that I didn't realize that butterflies that close to the 
I didn't realize that they, if they were close to a wall, they emitted a light like that. That's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and rest at the grace. We may very well be contending with the likes of Fia's fuckboys very soon. Oh my god. Get me out of here. Get me out of here, dude. I don't want to be around all, that, all those basilisks. No thanks. Thank you, but no thank you. Gonna pass on that one. I'm flattered, as a matter of fact. I'm flattered. There's a few things down here of note. Oh, I forgot that there's one of those things down here. Forgot all about that. But there's a... Um, there's a boss down here. Not, not Fia's fuckboys, but another boss. Just like a world boss, basically. Over by the... Uh, little tree over here. Uh, I mean, I guess since we're here, we can do the bell. Also, I wonder if these spectral dudes disappear after you disable the bell. This one have a different. This one's a different puzzle. It's not the. Uh... I think you actually do have to spirit spring onto that one. This one doesn't just fall over. any incantations I like using blood flame blade uh, I don't think so I could be wrong though I don't think so though I think since it's a it's it's a somber weapon and most of the somber weapons don't allow you to encant them with things with Bloodhound's Fang. Yeah, it's one of the few weapons that it does work with, unfortunately. Although knowing, uh, knowing FromSoft they're gonna they're gonna make it so you can't do that in the DLC. You're gonna be like, oh yeah, that was our bad. You're not supposed to be able to do that, so sorry. We're taking that out of the game.
is that not? Oh, is that it? Oh, I guess that's it. Oh! Jesus. Probably only gonna let me dupe the freaking one remembrance. Okay, here we go. Um, the Blood Lord. Oh yeah. We need knee heal, so you know. All right, let's go fight the boss over here. I don't think that there's any talismans of note, so I probably shouldn't spend too much time looting this place. Although there may be a few Ashes of War worth grabbing. This day can be duplicated. Um. I'm actually not sure. I think more than that can be, but you can only dupe certain ones at certain certain locations. All right, right here. tree we got a whole ass tree for doing that we got a whole ass tree that armor set's dope though Alright, I think I'm gonna go over to Fia's fuckboys. And we'll we'll loot the, like, coast, not the coast, but, you know, like, the, the waterfall edge there once we get back. For when we go to the Lake of Rot. I did want to check over here real quick, though. Couple items.
Prince of Death's Staff. Nice. Death Sorcery. Wait, what kind of staff is that? It says it's a... a glint stone staff. Gotcha. Go ahead and grab this grace. There's a few more little spots I can check over here, but I don't think that any of them are particularly valuable. Although this area here is kind of Included from the rest. I thought that there was something over here, but I can't remember exactly what it was that was over here. There's a, there's a hole. Now there's something over here. I just can't remember what it was. Actually remember what's down here though. I see a wound bear. There's a will bear in here. Sorry, Chief. One three three seven. Let's go. Couldn't ask for a better number. Prince of Death's cyst. Oh, what was that? Oh, nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a talisman. Hey, worthwhile. Freaking worth, dude. Would you look at that? All right, let's go take care of Fia's fuckboys.
Jesus. Dude, those freaking skulls just hard forked on me, man. That was crazy. Oh, okay. That's just me, dude. Alright, you're done. You're done. All right, let's go talk to... Let's go talk to... Ronnie. That's gonna be... Bernia. We have the Finger Slayer Blade, so we can progress this quest and then try and figure out where to get our talismans and whatnot. I need to see if somebody can mule me the other talismans. Anybody, anybody have a mule character on PC? Not blind. Even in my it is in thy possession, is it not? The hidden treasure of Nokron. Yes. My thanks. Finally, all the pieces are in place. Soon must I begin my journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. Ah, but before I leave, I shall entrust thee with this. My thanks for thy sterling efforts. A strange gift, perhaps, but a rare sort such as thee would welcome it, I'm sure. I am certain now. Fate steered us to our first encounter. I must thank Torrent, too, for his part. You may leave now. It was but brief, but thou gavest me fine service. What is it? I too am to depart on. Well, fine then. If that's how it's gonna be, I'm just kidding. Uh, let's go to study hall. We actually get a talisman for doing this quest as well, so. I do kind of want to do the study hall part. I think there's a talisman in the upright part of the study hall as well, if I'm not mistaken. I believe there's a couple of talismans here. Also, I'm kind of trying to drip. So if I could maybe complete Roger's quest and get his armor set from him, that would be cool.
He didn't go back down here, did he? I think he went up. This is this is uh, a level that I think is really well made. It is not easy to make a level to begin with, let alone one that when you flip upside down is also a perfectly, perfectly functional level. I forget how you're actually supposed to deal with this guy. Guess that. <laughs> Bye. See you later, chief. I think it's this way. It's pretty tough to make a level, let alone one that also is perfectly functional upside down. I think this is a really, really creatively made level for sure. I thought there was a talisman here, but maybe I'm wrong. Oh, hold on. Another ladder here. Forgot about that. Maybe it's this one. It's just what I was looking for. Hello, friends. Look, I'm uh, just passing through. Okay, no need to. Uh, no need. No need for the hostility, eh? You know. Despite the fact that you do get a talisman on the other side of of the upright version of this, there's definitely something about this area especially when you see this pedestal that's like it looks like something can be placed here that when you leave this place you're like all right something's not right about this and then also when you're outside the building and you see the tower you're like okay well how the fuck do i get to the tower just a really cool level Not my favorite, but very, very cool. Look, another perceptor. What a shock. Oh, 
also Perceptor Miriam. Big shock. Was there... Was there an item over here? I don't remember. I think so. So trippy that there, the water is still like flowing up there. I wonder if you can... There's a glow coming from over here. I feel like that's an item. Is not. Never mind. But there is something over there. Okay, so I'm not I'm not crazy. Alright, I'm not crazy. We're gonna go get that. Whatever it is. Ooh, the mask of confidence. Okay, so sh surely I can survive that jump, right? Uh freaking Barely, dude. Barely. Yeah, you can jump down there from over there, too. Okay. Nice. I don't want to drop before I've had the chance. Make sure that there are no items up here, because I don't think you can get back on this one. Ooh, dried liver. Oh. Talk about a midnight snack. My favorite. My favorite. Anyone else? Anyone else? Dried liver for uh for a midnight snack? Maybe even for breakfast? Anybody? No? I don't think that this has any items up here. I don't think there is. Take a quick lap just to see. All right, serious question though. Pizza for breakfast? Huh? Pizza for breakfast? I've had pizza for breakfast before. Hey, some sometimes you wake up, sometimes you wake up and it's just what you gotta do, you know? You look in the fridge, you're like, oh man, leftover pizza from yesterday. I don't really feel like making breakfast. And it's right there, and the microwave is within arm's reach. So we're gonna do the thing. We're gonna do the thing. Ah, uh, yes, the Divine Tower. I'm gonna kill the Godskin Noble over here. I want to I want to try to do as much damage as possible before he phases. Goodbye. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Best armor set in the game right here. chest upon thy back. Yon chest. I need the I need the stamina recovery speed talisman. I needed the Stargazer heirloom anyway, so... I think now is when we're supposed to go to this rise. I think. You'll be like, oh, hello. <laughs> Didn't see you there. I am not going to level past 125 if that, like, if there ends up being enough runes for me to do so today. Which I think could very well be the possibility. I'm not going to go above 125. I could try to go for 150, but, I mean, here's the thing. I'm not going to get enough runes for 150 unless I were to actually go, like, kill Melania and all that stuff, so... And I'm not planning on farming any runes either. I mean, for the DLC, I don't want to be over-leveled. Like, I, not that levels are going to matter that much anyway, but... I think 125. Okay. Yeah, she's gone. I believe... Now I'm craving pizza, and I love pizza for breakfast. Yeah, pizza for breakfast is... It's, uh, it's underrated. By the way, the reason I'm doing this is because there is a talisman on the other side of what I'm, what I'm trying to... What I'm trying to do here. This dragon actually runs away after a while. She goes to, uh, she goes to the Moonlight Altar. <laughs> There's actually three dragons that are there. I think, I think it's three. There's quite a few. Ooh, chilling mist. It is tempting to collect all of the Ashes of War as well, but... Hey, Corpsey, what's up, buddy? How's it going? Rena's Rise. I really want to have a mule character eventually. I had meant to do that a long time ago, but I got around to it.
Rena has a, a spare armor set laying around. Let's go. Okay. We 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 gotta we gotta uh No Witch. I don't think the Snow Witch has uh gloves with it. But okay, but that drips though, right? That that kind of drips. My Ronnie cosplay. Wow, grinding DD2 runs weren't playing nice, so I made a switch. There you go. I was playing some WoW last night. A miniature Ronnie. How cute is this item? Listen. Okay. Uh, let me see. Inventory. How cute how cute is this? Alright. Shrunk by an evil wizard. Maybe. Yeah, I was playing some WoW last night. I got, uh, I still have one rune left to get for my druid. Uh, mm. It's the one that you have to get the wild offerings for, and I just haven't had a chance to get into dungeons yet. I probably should do some Black Rot Depths runs because, uh. Oh, a dogged fellow, aren't we? Uh, there's a couple of this items that I need from there. Dolls. Fine. Fine. I hadn't expected any soul to recognize me in this guise. But now the cat is out the bag. I cannot allow thee thy freedoms. Perform for me a service as recompense. Eliminate the baleful shadows which prowl these lands. The name of Rani the Witch is already sullied by thee. I will not Brook disobedience in this matter. Perform for eliminate the name of I will not. Savage Gladiator Chain still farming BRD for Warriors. There's a gotten rehauled to something else. I actually don't know what the itemization is in there right now, to be honest. I, I haven't even set foot in there yet. So I need to, though, because I think. I think you can pre farm, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. I think you can pre-farm Sulfurous mats right now, I'm pretty sure. But I'm not sure if I'm not sure if the legendaries are gonna get re-itemized for SOD either. I have no idea. I want to say my bisque gloves or something are in there, though. Reckon they'll actually make Ashbringer a legendary. That would be sick. Although it feels bad because I'm a druid, so... I'll get a Sulfurus probably crafted by my guild. I want to say the guild is going to be kitting out our tanks for SOD, so... I just happen to be one of those tank characters. Oh, this is the good old tale of the one warlock that ninja the corrupted Ashbringer in Vanilla Classic. <laughs> yeah. Didn't you used to be able to fish up an Ashbringer and like Dust Swallow Marsh or something? I, I can't remember. I can't remember how it was. I thought I thought you used to be able to fish one up or something. Oh, uh, it was a myth, gotcha. Get him. Not gonna lie, these spears are kind of cool. But the, uh... 
old humans have or whatever the hell they're called. And if it would be nice, uh, considering yesterday player day is kind of dropping off steadily, it makes me uncertain. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of crazy how much the, the player base has dropped off. Like phase one was phase one was packed. There's still a lot of people playing in phase three, but I think honestly, the real problem is just the fact that like they have not done a very good job of keeping things casual in phase three. Phase one, ultra casual. Phase two, ultra casual. To where like it felt like you could play the game a few hours a week and still be relevant. And and phase three, they've really started to make it feel a lot more like classic wild WoW raid prep, which I just I I myself am not I'm not a hundred percent sure if I'm gonna stick you know if I'm gonna go all the way or not. I don't know yet. I think it depends. For me, it's honestly going to depend on whether or not I feel like however they decide to do the phases and stuff. It's going to just depend on how much is involved. Stairs just walked in with tons of golden instant 50s yeah and honestly like the thing that the thing that annoys me the most about it as well is like inflation is really bad right now as a result because like the people that got in super early and and like farmed up like a thousand gold on the way to level 50 It's, it's, it's essentially now where, like, math and stuff are just not affordable. Thousand gold, no one believed that he got it legitimately. Oh, yeah, no, I believe him for sure. He used to, like, the incursions were given, like, a hundred gold an hour on the first night. It was crazy. I mean, you can still you can still farm 100 gold an hour right now if you're a skinner. Or, uh, well, I, I would say... Oh, I didn't realize that, that was a kill. Um, but you, can, you can still get it as a skinner, kind of as a miner, but the ores are not as common as the skins. Like, you can just literally go farm skins and sell them for 5 gold, and you get 10, like... You get 10, like, every couple of minutes. It's literally every couple of minutes you get 10. So you just farm up like 200, well, let's see, because you can sell 10 for 5 gold, so 100 would be 50 gold, 1,000 would be 500 gold, and it would not take you, I'm not even kidding, it would not take you very long to get 1,000 skins. You get them, you get them probably about 1 in 3 skins when you're fighting dragons in the incursions. Probably about one in three. And when you get them, you get anywhere from like four to six skins each. So you figure you really only have to kill a few hundred mobs to make 500 gold if you really wanted to. Honestly, I don't think the economy for SOD uh, will last even after Molten Core, since imagine the mat costs just get attuned to Nax later on. Yeah, I mean, I, I think in general, like, they, they did kind of drop the ball with... They did kind of drop the ball with the way the incursions are. And honestly, like, not only not only is the, the economy just, like, completely screwed right now, but... Getting to 50 was just the most mindless thing. Game you're talking about? Uh, World of Warcraft. I don't want to go back to the main river and uh, I'll just warp here after I'm done.
Yeah, like... Getting to 50 was also, like, super mindless. One thing that I actually really like about Classic is the fact that leveling up to 50, or, or leveling up in general, is, like, kind of... It's, like, an adventure in and of itself. And they killed that in Phase 3. They, they completely killed that. Which made me kind of sad. Incursions honestly should not have been a thing till 50 and reward no XP. Yeah, well, I mean the other thing too is like Even after you hit 50 There you go to you go to uh, Feralus to do some and They're just as mindless as the ones in Ashenvale and you have to do them for like three weeks to get exalted like Or or you can grind out exalted by spamming them and you can get like maybe a couple thousand rep per loop, but I mean, it's like hours and hours and hours of grinding, and it's like, dude, like, that's that's the whole reason people like SOD is because it's so much less grindy, and then you put that shit in the game, which is just like completely mindless content for a rep grind that gives you one piece of gear that's best in slot for your class. It's it's pretty sad. It's pretty sad, I will say. What if you could actually make that jump? I don't think so. You have to go down. Although I'm not entirely sure. I, I guess you climb up this way. Yeah. That makes sense. E3 is the retail wow phase, yeah. I mean, I like the difficulty of Sunken Temple. I think that it I think that it's a very challenging raid. And it I I don't think that there's anything wrong with that inherently. I think it's it's honestly just like the they brought the grindy crap back, which is like kind of the reason people liked SOD in the first place is that it it, it kind of went away from the grindy stuff. And then they brought it right back. I really wish that they would have stayed away from that stuff. But, uh, you know, it's a little too late to fix it now, so, you know. <laughs> I'm actually not going to explore the heck out of this place. Uh, I'll probably loot this room. And then I'm going to leave because I actually have the... I actually have the grace down here to like actually start from the beginning of this area and this is actually the end i'll loot this room and i'll just go ahead and kill the, the boss but yeah i don't really need is some cost well right, goodbye I really had fun in the first two phases, though. Great team's gonna do catarating, maybe dive into FF14, since so it's just do whatever and whenever, pretty free form, yeah. I'm just, I'm just fi trying to figure out whether I even have time for Warcraft anymore. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna at least see through, see it through this phase. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it one more phase just to see what they do going to 60. But if I am not happy, ultimately, at the start of next phase, I'm probably going to dro uh, drop out. And I, I don't care for Cataclysm Classic at all. I thought Cata was a really bad expansion. And I know that they are, I know that they're, like, making a lot of changes to Cata to try to accommodate the fact that they, they also know the fact that, like, Cata was one of their worst expansions. Maybe, maybe not uh, on the same level as, like, WAD, but... I mean, they, they know that Kata is an expansion that a lot of people really did not like. So I know that with the changes that they're making, it's probably going to feel a little more like SOD in the sense of 
the fact that they are going to do things a little differently, but I don't know. I just, I, I don't see... The, the problem with Kata is not what they're trying to fix, as far as I understand. It was more just Dragon Soul people hated. Well, I mean, it was Dragon Soul. It was... In my opinion, the fact that they, like, everything that people came to know about the classic WoW experience died with with Kata, right? Like, not being able to go back and do old world quests. Like, there was no, like, there's no chromie thing to, like, take you back to the old world, you know? Which I think would have been a really, really big... That, that would have been something huge that they could have done to really keep people invested in the game that didn't want to necessarily like just rinse and repeat the new world stuff which i am one of the few people that thinks that the new world quests are like infinitely better than the old world quests but it's the fact that like it's like it's the fact that once cataclysm happened there was no going back and i think that bugged a lot of people I did not know that you could go to the Lake of Rot from here. Well, you can't. Okay, let's be let's be real. You can't go to the Lake of Rot, but you can see it from here, and that's pretty cool. I did not know about that. Definitely hated the new world landscape wise, like the quest, but them having to say in Wrath made you can fight the 60 version of, as well as the 80 could be one step in the right direction. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't really know. Like I said, I mean, it seems like, it seems like they're trying to do things better, but I just, I don't know if the changes that they're making are going to be enough. I honestly think that they should have just kept Wrath servers and just. Wrath is too iconic of too iconic of an expansion to just like let it sit in the dust. I think that they should always have Wrath servers that are that are on um, Fall of the Lich King as a patch. I actually think doing hardcore for Wrath would be really good. Hardcore Wrath servers, I think, would be really fun. I think it'd be hard to get a lot of people into it, though. Because the dungeon or the raids are a lot harder than... Considering popular private servers was always vanilla or wrath, yeah. I'm actually surprised that they didn't keep TBC servers when they moved on to wrath. I was I was genuinely surprised at that. I would have thought that, especially since TBC was also a really popular expansion. I mean, wrath was obviously more popular than TBC, but I would say just considering the popularity of TBC, I'm pretty surprised that they didn't maintain that either. And like they're also already testing the waters for Mr. Pandaria by doing the retail event right now where you can level your character through the Mr. Pandaria raids. Alright, I think that's probably about the extent of what we're going to do right now. I think I'm going to wait to do any of this stuff until later. So let's go to Noxtella.
something to do in the meanwhile while wow, it's just kind of that game now yeah i mean i just don't have any desire to be like a mythic raider or anything like that in retail anymore i just don't have that kind of time i i really enjoyed mythic raiding though like like when it was when it was a, a bigger part of my life i really did enjoy it but the problem is that like the payoff just seems to be less and less rewarding every time because you go into it knowing that you know your character is just going to reset anyway so the incentive to like keep farming a raid over and over and over for better gear just doesn't feel very rewarding I don't I don't like raiding and then clearing content week one and then farming it for six months because they don't have any other content lined up. And I'm probably going to sound very, uh, I'm probably going to sound very contradictory here because I, I speed run, right? And there's not really a payoff in a speed run aside from just like getting a PB and, uh, immortalizing your time, so to speak. But Honestly, the way I see it in terms of in terms of like the payoff is like I I know what I'm getting into with the speed run in the sense of that like I am only going to do it with games that I like actually enjoy fully, right? Which I mean, WoW is a game that I enjoy fully, so I mean, you could argue the same logic could be applied to hardcore rating or whatever. But the time commitment of like learning and doing a speed run is nowhere near as much as it is for playing WoW. And even though it never, you know, it, it never changes, so to speak, I can always get into like a new game if I want to. Whereas with WoW, like, it's really hard to get into any other MMO after you've played WoW because you feel like you just don't... I mean, just think about, like, you probably understand this at least to a degree because you play FF14. For most people, what it takes to work up to the point where you're like, you know what, I'm actually going to give FF14 a shot after playing WoW. Most people don't want to let go of their ties to WoW and they don't want to start over in another MMO because, like, they've already put this much time into another MMO. And they don't they don't want to do all that, so let us speak of the past a while. I was once this a, it's a big commitment for the demigods. Only I, Mikola, and Melania could claim that title. Each of us was chosen by our own two fingers. As a candidate to succeed Queen Marika. To become the new god of the coming age. What if there's a rot ending in the DLC? I received blithe. In the form of a vassal tailored for an Imperium. But I would not acquiesce to the two fingers. And it has an edge I considering they give a really good incentive in terms of their trials. Yeah. Mine own Imperium flesh. Casting it away. I would not be controlled by that thing. The two fingers and I have been cursing each other ever since. And the baleful shadows are their assassins. I turned my back on the two the baleful Sorry, my, my brain is being divided in thought here. Um trying to balance the lore with like what we're talking about. But yeah, no, I mean I, I just think like I, I can I can digest a speed run a little bit easier than I can digest mystic rating anymore. Like in a speed run, it's individual responsibility. I'm not bashing my head against a wall, cursing anybody except for myself for like doing things incorrectly. Which don't get me wrong, I do like I do like playing with a team. That's it's fun. It, it is fun in its own right, but with mythic rating, like it's a whole other beast. It's a whole other beast to do mythic rating. Like, you literally can sit there for weeks and not make progress. And that's, that's like, another thing about it that I just... 
You know, I, I've definitely had my fair share of, of bouts with speedruns where I haven't made progress in, in like, a, a, an extended period of time. But I also have kind of learned my lesson on that, and, like, there's a reason why I don't... There's a reason why I don't speedrun games if I know I'm not going to PB for, like, six weeks. Like, I just, I just choose not to subscribe to that idea anymore like if i if i am running a game and i'm like yeah it's probably going to be months before i tv again i'll probably just run another game at that point because i don't like going weeks at a time without a tv i start really getting stressed out if it's been like two weeks any more than two weeks and i'm just like yeah i think i think i'm gonna move on to something else because i just don't, i don't like the feeling of not progressing Try to try to avoid that where where possible, so But I mean I know that, that Blizzard's trying to look at that environment in War Within as well, like trying to respect time behind the keyboard and making it to where things just aren't as grindy and you can just jump in and enjoy the content. I, like, I, I, the, the biggest thing that I despise about Warcraft in general is the dailies. I hate having to do the same thing over and over for a month to get the reward. It's, it's just too much. Way too much. As soon as it starts feeling like a job, I'm not interested. And, and that's, that's funny in the sense, right, that, like... My job is literally to play video games, but as soon as... As soon as it starts to feel like my job is to play video games, that's when I peace out. I can't believe that this still works. This jump. Oh, wait, no. Maybe this jump doesn't work anymore. Hold on. I thought you used to be able to jump in there and, like, skip the whole thing. Maybe not. shove them in your face the only thing is your weekly currency and raid lockouts and that's that's it yeah yeah i just i just don't like having to do the same thing on rinse and repeat to enjoy the content and to me it's just like it, it's a lazy form of trying to get people to play the game artificially for longer than what would they would, would otherwise play right so i mean if you look at it like this right if if a reputation uh gain was more about doing a quest line than it was about doing the same quests every single day for a month. People would be much more inclined to just do the quest line to get the reputation. But the problem is that what Blizzard has gotten away with for the longest time is they they lock every single reputation behind a grind. And you have to do dailies, and it's the same quests every day. And, like, they they kind of tried to address that with world quests by making things different. To where, like, it's different world quests constantly, and you can... You're not necessarily limited by dailies. You know, they, they, they refresh every, like, four hours or whatever. But, in my opinion, it's not enough. I think a rep grind... I think a rep grind, in my opinion, should be like tops eight hours of grinding total. Total. Because the payoff, the payoff of doing a rep grind never feels worth it. And that eight hours should primarily be. That 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 eight hours should 100% be be occupied like through a quest line and not just farming quests like you know the same daily quests over and over. It should be a quest line that actually has quests that are unique in design, 
rather than sending you to go kill the same 10 mobs every day for 25 days. I think if they fixed that sort of thing, people would be a lot more inclined to do rep. And I'm not saying that rep shouldn't have a little bit of friction. I'm not saying that at all, but I think the entire daily system just needs to go away. You punish people for not logging in every day. A lot of people just can't log in every day. It's not that they don't want to, it's just that they can't. And then when they do log in, it's literally like their only enjoyment of the game outside of raiding once a week is just doing the same quests. They're weak to lightning damage, chat. There it goes. Oh, come on. I'm literally stuck inside the ball. Let me guess, a larval tier. Borrowed power systems that were linked to dailies as well as the worst. Renowned single-handedly killed Shadowlands. Besides the lack of content. Yeah, I mean, I did like that in Shadowlands you at least did have a quest line like every phase. But I, I still felt like it wasn't enough. I felt like it should have just been the quest line. And like, just give, just give renowned tokens from from doing the stuff that people like to do. And if people don't like to do the stuff, then just remove it from the game. Like, I feel like it's really that simple. Like, I've never heard anybody say, oh my God, I love doing daily quests. I've never heard anybody in my life say that. Because nobody likes it. I also think that there's too many spells like I, I think that the, the game is also way too complicated. I think that there's way too many spells. Too many different spell names to remember. Oh my gosh, I'm super dead. Too many spell names to remember. Too many... Too many overlapping things that just make it to where certain comps are just completely broken in PvP. It's impossible to balance PvP. Which is sad because, like, even though even though it's impossible to balance, they haven't touched RMP in, like, 10 years. And it's still one of the best comps in the game. Tears, tears from these? I don't think so. No. You only get one. Sag. Sag. Alright, well, I'm just gonna run through this part. 
Broke work one, yep, RMP, but not Shadowland Season 1. I think it was the most broken PvP ever was. So you can drew it 100 to 0, someone in one ability, regardless of damage reductions, was just nuts, yeah. No, that's true. Um, no, I just, I feel like... I feel like they just, like, PvP is just not accessible to get, like, new players just can't get into PvP. Like, you can't... You can't even remotely begin to understand PvP mechanics as a new player. And and the the problem is like the people that have been doing PvP for so long, you're just you're not gonna you're not gonna keep up with them ever. Like there's just too much to learn. And people with 10,000 hours in the game, as a new player, you have no chance at all of competing with them. One guy with a shield and the other one with a Giga Sword is not not what I had in mind. And also a spear, no less. No! Damn it. <sighs> There's not enough money in it either. I'm totally stealing it, like, a, a lot of other, like, bigger streamers' thoughts that are primarily WoW streamers on this, by the way. I'm very much stealing their thoughts on this, but like I couldn't agree more as somebody with, I want to say I have maybe 12 or 13,000 hours in WoW. As somebody that has that many hours in the game, I mean, I can't, I can't say that I disagree because it's a, it's a sentiment that a lot of people share that have been playing the game for a long time. It's just like the game is just too complicated like we we want we want new people but it's hard to get new people because the game is just too complicated you can't just pick up the game this game is okay so wow is not a game like i'm not going to use a from soft or like a souls like game as an example because these games are kind of meant to have a steep learning curve but wow is not a game like Oh, what's, what's like a really popular RPG that's like relatively accessible to get into? I'm trying to think. Um, okay. I'm drawing a blank here, but if we rewind back a few years, right? So an, an RPG that I really enjoy is a game called Fable. It's actually getting a reboot, but it's kind of in development hell right now. The first Fable game very straightforward to get into despite the fact that the game has a lot of there's like a lot to do in the game it is not a difficult game to understand or get into you have alignment of good and evil the decisions that you make affect how people perceive you and on top of that uh there's like a lot of really cool weapons there's a lot of really cool builds but like you understand how to play the game very very early on even though you still have to worry about things like gear and weapons and what talents or like like what skills and stuff you're going to train, right? Like there's still there's still a lot to learn, but when you pick it up, it doesn't feel like you are just overwhelmed with buttons and shit. And yeah, I mean that's exactly the issue is like WoW doesn't do that. Like, you you, you immediately load into the game and you level up so fast that you have no idea what your... You have you've absolutely no idea what your spells do. And then when it is teaching you the game, it literally just lights up the spell that you're supposed to use, but it doesn't actually explain to you why you're using that spell and why it's... it's... core to your build. And then because it doesn't explain why... 
you start building your character up around all of these different things, thinking that it's because, oh, it's because this skill is lit up on my hotbar. But then you have actually no understanding of how your class actually works because the game doesn't explain it to you. They just light up all the buttons that you're supposed to press. And for most players, that's not how you're, that's not how you should learn how to play a game, especially like you can get away with it in a game like this, right? Where it's single player and it, your adventure is kind of on you to figure out. You can't do that in a game where the expectation is that people, people expect you to play at a top level on day one. And you just made your account yesterday. And I can't even tell you the last time that I've ran into people that are just like new players. And and frankly, I'm one of the people that like when I run into a new player, I just kind of don't want to play with them because I don't want to have to be it. Like I, I'm guilty of it myself. I'm guilty of it myself. Like I don't really want to play with new, new WoW players because it's just, it, it's not that I think that they're bad people or anything like that. It's just like I, the content that I engage in is just not new, new player friendly content. Like I, I want to clear whatever the new raid is on the very first week. And I don't want to sit there waiting for somebody to figure out how to get their food buff. And I don't want to figure out, I, I don't want somebody that, that doesn't know how to take advantage of like different class utilities. Somebody that doesn't know that a warlock can create health stones or that a mage can port people. Just like, you know, general game knowledge because it slows down the experience and I, I'm trying to get through the content relatively quickly because I myself don't really have a whole lot of time myself to play the game. So, and, and then when I have to spend half of the time teaching people how to play, like, like, like I'm not mad at those people. Like, I, I think that those, we, we need more people to play WoW in order for content to continue to come along and, and be engaging and, and get people excited about it, right? We need that, but I think the problem is that the game has has already taken up enough of people's time that people don't want to spend what little time that they have teaching people how to play the game. The game should teach people how to play the game, not other players. And I think that that's the problem. The problem is is exactly the fact that the game does not teach people how to play. It is other, it, they, they put the entire pressure of learning how to play the game on all of the other players. Which in my opinion is just not, that's just not, that's not the play, in my opinion. I'm spending like way more time than I would normally spend here, by the way, chat. I was definitely not expecting to still be around this area by now. Did I, did I grab the thing that was across this bridge? I don't think I did. Did I? I don't think I did. I think I just went up the stairs. half ass is explaining classes and jobs. Each one, like what their gauges do. You can play the game without knowing, but once getting into the game, end game, it does switch between casual and more hardcore. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I think it's this right here. Yeah, okay, that's why I didn't do it, because it's a separate staircase. For some reason, I thought it was the same staircase, but I guess not. I still didn't finish doing the stuff in Celia back in Kaled either. A couple things I gotta get taken care of over there. Oh my god, that was so much damage the moment I landed. Lord. Kinda nervous. I'm getting tailed to death. Uh, oh. Alright, I'm getting out of here. It's time. I've spent way too much time here. I was not expecting to spend like all day down here.
Oh god. That's not good. I'm gonna try to heal. I think there is an item over here in this. I don't think there's anything else. I think we got everything there is to get here. Yeah, I do like WoW. I do like WoW a lot. I just have a hard time really getting into it like I used to. I wish it was more new player friendly. I, I do wish that the game did a better job of actually teaching players how to play the game. I think they could get away with it back in like the very early days of the game, right? Back when it was new, because part of the process of the game was rediscover, not rediscovering, but just discovering in general the things that ultimately made the Even game what it was. But back upon the two I just think people don't really have the patience for it as much in this day and age. <laughs> Not when there's so many other games out there. The industry was so much smaller 20 years ago. He was a colossal failure on the part of the two fingers, Blythe and E.G. both. Art willing to give too much to me, yet they both understand what lieth beyond the dark path, that I must betray everything and rid the world of what came before. Ah. Should I add thee to the list? Another one. Kind of heart. As kind of heart as they. Ah. This form hath loosened my tongue. I still I've think they have their original player base, but in reality most of them have left for much more quality hurt. products. Yeah. Forget. And like I think I think a lot of people do occasionally come back to the game just to see what's popping, but they don't have the like player loyalty and retention that they had back in like between the years of like 2004 and 2009 they just they just don't have well i would i would even say 2010 pretty much up until up until kata they lost a lot of loyalty by reaching a point of no return with the content that they offered I also think that they should have done Classic way sooner than they did. I think they were, I think they were way, way oh, late on Shadow. putting out Classic. Thou art the last. Tell the two fingers that Rani the Witch cometh. Drain thy flesh with a fateful wound, ne'er to heal. I actually thought that this was Blythe initially. But then you actually fight Blythe later, after he goes feral. Ego overshadowed the thought early on. Oh, for sure, for sure. They're like, you think you want classic, but you don't. And it's like, no, we actually, we actually do want classic, okay? My thanks. <laughs> we actually do. It was more of a challenge than I, I put envisioned. words in our mouth. Now I can finally stand before them. This is farewell, my dear. Tell Blythe and E.G. I love them. I find it very strange that you you just happen upon the key after you kill that Baleful Shadow. Like, they don't really explain why Blizzard's just out of touch. I mean, funny enough, I don't think that they're out of touch with, like, Diablo. I think they actually know their audience pretty well with Diablo. And they definitely make mistakes, for sure, on that game as well. But I think they understand. I, I think it's honestly, like, it's a Warcraft thing. Like, it's, it's absolutely a Warcraft thing. 
They definitely make mistakes with, with Diablo for sure. Like their first season was not a very strong season in D4, but. Most of the issues with D4 was like quality of life stuff though, not, not like core gameplay interactive stuff. Let's go on. So. All right, dark moon ring. I don't think I need that, but I'll take it anyway. Why not? No, I think I do need it, actually. I don't remember if you need the palace key for... What's his face? Estelle? I don't remember. I probably should raise the platforms before I go crazy with the exploration here. Probably be a good idea. Actually, a few things going on here in the Lake of Rot. I want to say there are a couple of talismans here as well. So while I'm on the, uh, the talisman hunt here, I think we can probably make some magic happen. running around in the fucking sludge. This is literally liquid rot, chat. Liquid rot. Can you imagine how bad this shit stinks? Can you imagine how fucking gross it probably smells down here? I do wish they would have put more enemies around here. It would have been nice if there were more enemies. There are not very many enemies at all, like, in this area. I do need to go ahead and myself over to a grace though because I'm probably not going to survive I don't this dude almost made it he almost made it he even had the uh, boluses on him he was so close he just couldn't quite he couldn't quite put it together ripped right at the finish line feels bad man I'm not going to go down here just yet. I want to go back out to the lake, but I wanted to replenish my flasks. I think there is a talisman out here, if I am not mistaken. 
then we'll go ahead and take care of Estelle. Do I need to kick this? I don't think so, right? Yeah. Nothing here? Okay, this has got to be a joke, right? Why- why is this- why is this here? <laughs> There's nothing here, man. I, I could have sworn there was an item or something up here. I guess not. That is a little silly. Little silly. butterflies out here. Healed a little late, my bad. All right. It's all right. Be coming back there anyway, because there is a... I guess it's probably better for me to go... Well, maybe not. I'm going to go to the shore side. Not closer, but there are some stuff. Things that I need to get over here anyway, so... There's that ruin over there, and then there's another one. Um, there's like a dragon, a rotted dragonkin soldier or whatever. I want to say it's somewhere near where that ancestral person is. Did it again. Oh, it's right here. first though because there's not uh, there's not anything else over here so I'm going to uh, tackle this first
X. Okay, that's kind of that's kind of BS. That didn't work. Not gonna lie, that's a little bit BS in my opinion. But I suppose that uh, you know the game can do whatever it wants. So there's a stake of America right here. Okay. Can I chuck a rock at it while it's over? Can I chuck a rock at it while it's over there? Dragon Scale Blade. Okay. Once again, I've got the rot. But that's okay. I think this is the last like little milestone landmark place that I need to go. It has items in it. I think that there's, yeah, okay, you can, oh, hello. I think it's this way. Yeah, this looks right. Mushroom crown, sick. All right, I think we're ready. Ready to leave now. The Grand Cloister. This is Rot City. Rot City, bitch. Rot, Rot City, bitch. Right? 71,000. Well, we know that a Newman rune is worth 12.5, so we'll use one of those and we'll grab a level while we're here.
What's like the rot that like, gives us like the most rot resistance? Is it immunity that... Is like the best stat. I think that's the best for immunity, if I'm not mistaken. Things are kind of heavy. How is this thing so freaking heavy? Good lord. Okay. You know what? Whatever. Whatever. Okay, whatever, dude. Golden Seed Pog. They give you so many more Golden Seeds than you actually need. Pretty sure there's like six extra or something in the whole game. Oh! Dang it. That's uh, all good. All good. Ha, I knew there was an item here. I was like, uh, I don't know if I should... I'm back for this or not. I'm glad I did. I'm actually for once glad that I died. Because I probably would have forgotten about that. think there's anything over here although I'm probably gonna get completely bombarded by these guys probably a good idea to at least take a few of them out I'm 
kind of dagger, I think, up here. Pretty sure. Scorpion's Stinger. All right, let's go kill Estelle. Why am I in my undie pants? Uh, cause I was heavy equip load. I wanted to at least wear something that was kind of resistant to Scarlet Rot, but it didn't end up mattering, so. I'll probably put my other pants back on here in a minute. This helmet is so heavy. For like how little defense it gives. <clears throat> it's kind of silly. Don't believe there's any items out here. Could be wrong. But I don't think there are, so we're gonna go take care of Estelle. the mist. Yes. <clears throat> Decent enough fight. Decent enough fight. One more level. Yeah, so I'm not, I'm not gonna get too many more levels here. I think 125 will be a good stopping point. I think I probably, with everything I'm gonna do today, 
I'll probably get to 125. Looks like my character is cheering. I'm gonna say there's three dragons. Yeah, here's another one right here. Going cheap. Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, just perching up on the tree, chief. Perching up on the tree. I can I can respect that. So... We're slaying dragons today, dude. Back to back. Back, possibly even to back again because I think there's I think the actual dragon one like or the boss one is up here, the one that leaves outside of Ronnie's place. I want to say it stands guard outside of the temple. Yon chest, that's right, Sammy's. Yeah, we've opened quite a few yon chests. Yeah, there we go.
I don't have to drain nine freaking health bars in this game, dude. At least, there, at least I don't have to drain nine health bars, okay? I don't have to cast Meteor on and instantly delete six of them. Maybe even seven if I'm lucky. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. All right, there's plenty of Starlight Shards. You want Starlight Shards in this game? Come here. This place has a lot. Otherwise, you gotta journey all over the freaking lands between to look for these things. This right here is the place. There's like 10 of them or something over here. sealed chest or something. I don't remember exactly what it is. Guess I can grab the Moonlight Greatsword. Um, it's so dark. I can't see shit. Okay, here we go. I'm going to take a short break to use the bathroom after I come down here and get the Moonlight Greatsword. She slayed the fuck out of those two fingers. Seemed like she was really mad. Oh, yeah. Not even asking permission, just putting the ring on it. I don't think this locks you to Ronnie ending. You still have to summon her at the end. Well, hello there. So it was thee who would become my lord. Perhaps I needn't have warned thee. I am pleased, however. Thou art a fitting choice. I go now to the night sky. It is there I shall find mine order. I bid thee travel the path of the lord. And once all is yeah, done, what up, twin? Yeah. we shall see each other once more. Moonlight right sword. Moonlight right sword. Oh. Sorry, dark moon right sword. Excuse me. This thing drips. Look at it. Oh my god. I'll be right back, chat. Give me just a few minutes. We'll keep going here.
Okay, I'm back. I grabbed a little snack while I'm gone. Speaking of food, my HelloFresh box should be here on Thursday. I realized after I placed my order last night that I looked at the wrong week, so we ended up having to choose some different meals from what we showed off on stream yesterday. That box is next week, so if anybody is considering signing up and maybe you were going to base this week's choices off of what I had picked on stream... Um, you could, you could, uh, order those things next week. I didn't realize when I placed my order that I was not looking at the right week. Upcoming food review. Uh, I had a sponsor for HelloFresh yesterday. And I have another one next weekend. And I'm going to do a cooking stream. Which, it's not too late to sign up. Uh, that link should be active for at least two weeks. So if anybody is interested in supporting my stream, supporting me, you can go to the link that I am posting in the chat and you get 16 free meals with the discount. And you also get a free dessert for life, which I also found out yesterday when I signed up. It doesn't have to be a dessert. It can be any add-on. And some of the add-ons are valued at up to, like, $30. So, like, you actually get, like, pretty crazy. Like, that free dessert for life is kind of huge. I was looking at it yesterday, and it's, like, if you want, you can basically order, like, a breakfast instead of a dessert. If you want to get, like, an actual meal with it rather than just, uh, like, a side item. It's international. Uh, it should be. It should work in, like, Europe and free dessert for life, yeah. If you, if you sign up, as long as you maintain your subscription. Your account will have a free dessert for life on it, which is, like I said, I mean, that is like, that is actually huge. When I was talking about it yesterday, I wasn't kidding. Like, it's actually a big deal. I've never seen them do a promotion like this before. And you can skip weeks if you don't want to, like get it every single week you can schedule the weeks that you want to get deliveries and as long as you keep your subscription active i'm pretty sure you can skip as many weeks as long as you like manually go in there and schedule it like you don't have to commit to like a meal every single week and you can still keep the free dessert for life as far as i understand so and that, that discount will spread out over your remaining deliveries too so if you skip a week, they still give you the discount that you would have gotten that week on the next week. And it basically just shifts everything back a week, so. We love HelloFresh. Um, today's stream is not sponsored by HelloFresh, but I figured I would mention it because I really do want us to hit our sign-up goal. I would love to do a marathon for you guys, but uh, we gotta we got to keep our sponsors happy, too, at the same time, so. Please consider signing up if you have not done so already. It's food. Who doesn't like food, you know? And your starter discount makes it like super, super uh, inexpensive as well to get started. Just to try it and see if you like it. You don't like it? That's okay. But you should at least try it. You'll probably you'll probably save quite a bit of money just trying it. So there's really no risk if it's available in your country. Which I'm I'm very sure that EU. I'm very sure that it works in EU. I'm not sure about like Asia and places like that, but you can you can check out the website and it'll tell you. Okay. Um I don't think there's actually anything here, so I have some some runage. If I wanted to if I wanted to use this sword, 
I would need to get into uh, Int. What do we think, chat? Do we uh, do we switch weapons or do we keep what we have? What are we thinking? That one's not a colossal sword, though. That's the thing that's uh, that's sad about it. It's not colossal, so doesn't have quite the same effect, you know. Is it my first time using it? Uh, I've used HelloFresh off and on for years. A long time. Probably four years, maybe. Maybe even longer than that. My fiance and I love it. We, uh, we typically order it when... We just don't have time to go to the grocery store. Because it comes as like a complete... It comes as like a, a self-contained meal kit. It's not one of those services where like you sign up and they deliver something that you throw in the microwave. Like you do cook it yourself. A lot of the recipes are very easy to learn as well. And you can keep the recipe card after you're done if you want to make it again with your like with your own ingredients down the road. My fiance and I, we have a three inch binder full of HelloFresh recipe cards that we've collected over the years. Yon Fresh. Yeah, that's right. Yon Fresh. Great way of trying new recipes, too. Yeah, for sure. For sure. No, it's been it's been great. We love it. Um, we don't we don't get a box every single week, but again, like when we know we're gonna be busy, and sometimes like when my dad comes into town. Sometimes when my dad comes into town, we'll go ahead and order a box just so that way we don't have to like immediately go to the store before or like during the time that they're arriving into town. We just order the box and then, you know, we well, we ask them what they'd be hungry for and then we order the box and then it just arrives on the day that they get into town. So and then since we don't have to like worry about, you know, doing math on how many people we're feeding and all that stuff. <laughs> You know, it's a, it's a little bit easier to, to just assemble things because it's just all going right into the fridge once it arrives. And it comes in like, when, when you order it, it comes in environmentally friendly packaging and then the, the packaging itself is also, um, like it, it comes in like ice packs and stuff so it's nice and cold when you... Monthly plan for one person. Uh, it's usually, you pick between two or four. But obviously like if you make for two people and it's just you, you can, you can make the full meal and then have leftovers. Nothing wrong with that. Oh. Coda says, uh, so if you if you use the link, if you click the uh, if you click the panel that's like below the stream. It should automatically fill the coupon code in. It's like POG, HF, and then a bunch of numbers. It should automatically fill that in when you click the link. You can also see the coupon code on the stream right there. POG, HF, 132869. It should autofill when you click the link. But if it doesn't, then you can plug in that coupon code and it should work. Yeah, give it a shot. Let me know what you order. And when it arrives after you cook it, let me know how it tastes. This looks like an Everjail over here. Yeah, it is. I saw the I saw the little worm looking things.
this is troll. Oh! Let me get some stam here. This lady is juiced on the health department here. Good lord. That or she's just like highly resistant to my attacks. Oh! That is some freaking Malaketh shit right there. Oh, come on. Get the uh Let me get the official answer because people are asking what country's HelloFresh um delivers to. Alright, from what I'm seeing. Let me, let me see if it's on their official website. Looks like 18 different countries, a lot of them in Europe. It might be 19 countries now. All right, it looks like Canada, the UK, Australia, Germany, Austria, Switzerland, the Netherlands, Belgium, Luxembourg, Sweden, Norway, Denmark, France, Italy, New Zealand, Japan, and Spain. I think there's another country on there too, though. Because if I when I go to their like uh, thing to pick the country or whatever, there's a 19th one on there, but I don't know. I don't know what country is missing off of there, to be honest with you. But that should give you an idea. So most, it sounds like most of Europe and North America. And also some, you know, well, Japan, obviously. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see here. Need to go to that mage tower to the south. Good coverage for a food shipping company? Yeah, for sure. Oh! I thought it was down here. Unless I'm missing, like, where the spot to actually jump down is. Oh, maybe this is it right here. Okay, I see it now. There's a turtle. He's so cute. 
It's a sea of turtles. Oh my god. Three great wise beasts. Okay, so I know on this one there is a Giga Turtle hanging off of a cliff somewhere. I just don't remember exactly where which cliff it is. But yes, there there is in fact a Giga Turtle around here somewhere. Doesn't look like it's over here. snipe him with something. I have a crossbow. Oh! Get him. I'm sorry, Chief. I, I, I didn't want it to be this way, but you were hanging off the cliff and I just didn't have any other choice. The other two, I'm not completely sure of. I would, I, I think one of them is in a bush. is invisible or not. Three great wise beasts. I wonder if they're all Giga Turtles. are. I feel like these turtles could be anywhere on this moonlight place.
I know I missed some stuff at the ruins up here. There is a uh, stone sword key door there. Also, I, I suppose I could go to the four belfries in terms of uh, doing stuff over there. I know I imposed sort of a region lock, but I'm not locked to anything right now because I haven't entered Farrah Missoula. And even if I did, it wouldn't really matter anyway. And imposing a region lock is kind of relative because not like that really matters when the DLC drops anyway. I just wanted to... I mean, I'm, I'm kind of past the point of really needing a region lock at this point. Like, I'm already well over level 100. Where is that... Where is that stone sword key door? I think it's right here. In one of these. This one? Mm. Right, what the heck? I know it's over here somewhere. Here it is. Very, very confused. Uh, what? Hello? Oh, illusory wall. Right. I thought it slid the thing open when you used it. My bad. Rulian Amber Medallion plus two. Okay, that's funny enough. That's actually what we came here for. That's that's like actually like the thing we're here for. How many stone sword keys do I have at this point? Uh, okay, 14. I think I think we're probably good. <laughs> Alright, I need to go to Summon Water Village. That actually has... There is a... Pretty useful... Talisman there for me. Hey, thank you to whoever signed up for HelloFresh. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Enjoy your box. Let me know what you ordered. And uh, once you have a chance to cook it up, let me know how it tastes. Okay. Summon Water Village is uh, up here. This isn't the thing with the jellyfish, is it? I have the... I have the ashes for the jellyfish, but... Am I going east? Yeah. I don't remember if I took out the... Uh, there, there's a... Mariner. Here. I don't remember if I killed them already, though. I feel like I... Alright, somewhere around here, there is a stone sword key door that gives me the talisman. This is the stamina recovery speed talisman, which... Honestly, I probably should have gotten this one a while ago. Probably should have. I love how, <laughs> oh my gosh, I love how the talisman you get in here is the green turtle talisman and there's there's turtles literally sitting outside of the the entrance. That's so funny to me. Oh, oh my gosh, they're all over. I 
Amazing. Amazing. I need to go to Altus Tunnel. Alright, hold on. Altus Tunnel is... That sealed tunnel. I, I thought there was Altus Tunnel, and then I thought there was old Altus Tunnel. And I thought that was old Altus Tunnel, but I, I could be wrong. I think that's old Altus Tunnel. I think it's... Yeah, it's this one right here. Definitely that one. Um, how do I get there... Uh, painlessly. Here we go. The Tower of Bounty. I mean, there's probably a talisman in Old Altus Tunnel too, but I'm just going down the line on... the the list of talismans. I'm not bothering with anything that is in Mikola's Halig Tree. Obviously, like Ashen Capital, that sort of thing. I'm not bothering with any of those. Anything that, like, requires me to progress further than pretty much where I am right now. I don't know if there's any illusory walls in this one. I don't really need to grab the smithing stones or anything, but I may as well. May as well seize the opportunity while I'm here, you know? I think this is like main path situation for this tunnel. Wait, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the roots over here. Let me see what's over here first. I'm gonna need a blunt weapon. Vegetables and meat. It looks good. Hopefully it tastes good. Yeah, let me know. Feel free to uh, post your pictures in the Discord once you get a chance to cook it up. And like I said, let me know how it is. We did. Uh, we had to change our order because the one I was looking at yesterday was for next week. So we ended up going with similar dishes, but we made a couple of minor changes. So we're gonna try the falafel tacos. We're gonna try 
There was there was a different kind of a like barbecue pork chop that was similar to the honey barbecue one, but oh my goodness, I'm gonna die! Oh god! And then there was another like shrimp pasta alternative as well. So those are the ones that we. Give it a shot too. That was coming on the 25th. Yeah, I think the I think the de oh no, I think the deadline for this week was I think it was yesterday. And I happen to have ordered yesterday. So the ones that I was looking at yesterday, I think. I think y'all can order those today, but I was looking at the wrong week yesterday, unfortunately. So yeah, mine will be a little bit different than, than whatever y'all uh, order if you decide to order something. Oh boy, oh boy, oh no! I do not want to lose 200,000. Oh, he's up there. I was very confused for a moment. I need to spend these runes, man. I thought he was down below. That's why I was so confused. Like, how am I getting hit, dude? All right, there's the there, this is what I came here for. Not sure how to get over there, though got to be like an illusory wall situation of some kind. Gotta be. Or, hold on now, because this staircase takes me somewhere. I didn't go here earlier. Yeah, this has got to be right here. I bet this is illusory wall. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm trolling. I'm trolling. In that case, I have no idea how to get over there. I don't really care. Whatever it is, is probably not worth my time. So, I'm going to get out of here quickly and painlessly. Because I got what I came here for. And also killed a boss at the same time. Where is the... Oh, no, okay. I guess that doesn't matter. The next... The next one that I'm going to look for is... In the subterranean shunning grounds. Didn't I? Yeah, here we go. I'll be honest, I don't remember exactly how to get here to the Moog area, but I want to say it starts this way. Could be completely wrong on this, but you know, that imp is stuck, man. 
gonna get knocked off this ledge, dude. There's a couple of, like, spells and stuff over here anyway, so even this is, if this is the wrong way, it's not at the end of the world. Freaking imps, man. They need to back off. Oh. That was unfortunate. Oh! Dude, there are so many of them. Good lord. Alright, can we... Can we maybe chill? Good boy. Oh! There was, uh, I thought there was another path that way, but I guess not. I know that there's a talisman in the catacomb over here, so it might actually be worth getting that, too. To get over there. I remember how that's done. There's a way that you come up, but I just don't remember what it is. Guess I can go for. Lord of Blood's Exaltation instead. I need to spend these runes before I forget. There's like an inversion thing that makes this catacomb particularly tricky. Where it like keeps you in a loop until you make a change. Yeah, it's this right here. So yeah, like you come up here and it's the same thing basically, except they make it look 
They make it look like uh, this dude's mourning, but it's actually a totally different area. It's pretty funny. They they did a good job uh, confusing the hell out of people in this. I don't think that there's any like illusory wall shenanigans over here though. Yep. Oh crap, I didn't even do it. Should be getting into the lever here pretty soon. Yeah, there it is. Perfect. All right, this should give me Lord of Blood's exaltation if I'm not mistaken. I did not look up the solution for this. I just kind of... got a very big hood. It is rather large. This fight, it's the freaking dogs. The dogs are the worst. I need to change what's in my physic. What? Are you kidding me? What is that? Okay, okay. Jesus. Whoa. 
No! He does not have very much health, but he is dirty, dude. Just dirty. Exaltation. All right, let's let's take care of this. I keep forgetting. I don't actually remember the path to get to Moog. I don't entirely remember it. It's not open from this side. Okay, well, I guess that's helpful. I believe it's this way. That's unfortunate. I want to say if you fall down that thing, it takes you on this massive detour. It's been a while since I've been in here, though. Oh, no. 
Please don't hurt me. Okay. Yeah, this is this is the right way, I'm pretty sure. Well, kind of. Oh my god! Jesus. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you do have to go around because the. Cistern is a G bait. Light pad. Always coming. Coming. This is it right here. this way going off a of pure muscle memory here to drop into that hole. It's this one.
Bye. Aha. Eighty thousand for a level now. Damn. We're probably looking at like maybe just over a million. To get the rest of the levels. Surge tree favor. Oh. For anybody that does not know, this right here is where the Lord of Frenzied Flame ending starts. A very tragic tale of the hermit merchants who were burned alive. can keep playing. You're, you're playing a beautiful, beautiful piece. You can, you can keep playing. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna kill you.
No! Dang it! <laughs> Rip. Oh, I forgot to grab the grace here. My bad. Dropped down the wrong one. Uh oh. It's too freaking close. Inescapable frenzy. Oh, heck, how do you get to that? I think I can use a bomb. Some kind. Might need to equip a, a spell that has like explosive properties. I know that the one frenzy dude. Oh, maybe this guy. He alive? Melina's not going to be happy about this.
If you intend to claim the frenzied flame, I ask that you cease. It is not to be meddled with. It is chaos, devouring life and thought unending. However ruined this world has become, however mired in torment and despair, life endures. Births continue. There is beauty in that. Is there not? If you would become Lord, do not deny this notion. Please, leave the frenzied flame alone. I ask you one more time. Please, seek not the frenzied flame. He's quivering. As one who strives to become a lord, deny not the lives, the new births of this world. Those who would are not fit to be called lord when the land they preside over is lifeless. Please, the Lord of Frenzied Flame is no Lord at all, when the land they preside over is lifeless. Please, the Lord of when the land... She's scared, y'all. She's scared, chat. This is it right here, though. If you get naked and approach that door, you get the Frenzy Flame ending. You are locked unless you use Mikola's Needle. I got what I came here for. Well, I think I did. Yeah, I got Earth Tree Favor plus one. That's what I wanted. All right, I have both of the Radigan seals. I can't get the America door seal because that's in the Halig tree and I'm not going there. What happens after that? What changes in the gameplay? Uh, the gameplay itself doesn't change. Um, you just get a different ending. I was going to do it this playthrough, but then I was like, you know what? I probably shouldn't finish the game if this is a DLC file. I missed the scar seal. Oops. I missed it. It was uh, right here. It's under the waterfall. I think it's hiding behind one of these. I think. Oh, wait, no, 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 it's not this one. Um, hold on, I need to find... I think it's this one. Yeah. I think it's this one. Uh, yeah, you can, Sasha. Yeah, pretty much as soon as you get to the capital, you can you can do Lord of Fla uh, Frenzy Flame at any point in time.
It's just getting there is a royal pain in the ass because the sewer system there is just so complicated to navigate. There was anything else over here, but got a quick peek at just some herbs. More than two years behind. Hey, it's all good. It's all good. Perfectly understandable. I think this is just a health one over here. Yeah. junkie yeah i mean basically yeah you're not wrong Every time I play, I'm glad I can provide some value. Entertainment and knowledge, the double whammy. The twofer, as we say. Using that HelloFresh code makes everyone in chat that much cuter. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Chat, you're already super cute. But if you want to be even cuter. Code POG... HF. You don't know what POG HF stand for? It means POG HelloFresh. POG HF. 132869. 
HelloFresh is indeed pretty pog. I believe that over there is where you end up on the... When you do the four Belfries. I believe that is the place. Fancy items, darn. If we hit three signups, chat, for HelloFresh, I will do a speedrun marathon next week. Of course, I'd love for us to hit 18 signups as well, which is like the, the, the max... Like the max uh, bonus that I can get for doing signups. Apps at 18. My goal is three because I'm a very modest individual. I would love three signups. And HelloFresh themselves also told me that they would be very happy if I got three signups. I heard it from the, the, the chiefs themselves. They said, Mr. Blade. And I said, yes, HelloFresh. And they said, we would love it if you could do three signups. And I said, you got it, coach. And here we are. And we are we are a third of the way there. How long is this running? Uh, a couple of weeks. I believe the minimum is 14 days. But I think the campaign can go up to 28 days. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I want to say it's somewhere around there. I forget where this takes you. Staggering a plant. Imagine. Yeah, sounds good, Wolf. I appreciate that, buddy. Ancestor spirit out here, I don't think, uh, provides nearly as much, uh, runage. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, no worries, Sasha. Yeah, no worries. I completely understand. Definitely don't expect every sponsor that I take to be for everybody 100% of the time, so. Totally understandable.
Probably garbage. Yes. I mean, at this point. A rune, a golden rune rank three. Is, that's like two levels at level one. No, that's like one level. I think it's worth 800. But hey, at level one, hey, that's huge. That's huge. Sadly, not as huge at level 100 and whatever the heck I am. Thirteen, I think. Hey! Yeah, get off my ladder, dude. Good grief, man. Unbelievable. The aud the audacity. My ladder, go away. I don't ever want to see you on my ladder ever again, dude. Here we go. There's a hermit guy in here. I think he sells a cookbook of some, uh, some some sort. I don't know. I think he's in here. Thought he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's right here. Mm -hmm. oh. A customer. Please, I'm hungry. Goodbye. Ah, yeah, that's right. That's right. I remember now. What I don't remember is the exact location of every single, uh... One of the porch things that I have to light. Haze withdrawals whenever I take a day off. Oh, well, I better not take a day off ever again just for you. I, I, I'm not going to lie, chat. I felt really guilty for taking the extra two days off this last week. Felt super guilty. It is so rare that I take off more than like one or two days a week when I'm like in the groove of things. That eclipse got me pooped though. I was so sore and tired and just, just not really feeling it. Oh! Square off. Square off is a really great Ash of War. Comes standard on a handful of the starting weapons. Did so much the last couple of weeks. Yeah, I did. I just uh, every time I've ever taken more than like a couple of days off, I always just uh, I always drag my feet like trying to get back into things. Like, I don't, I don't really feel like I did that this time around, but I've definitely noticed that things are a little bit slower since I took, since I took four days off. And then on top of that, I also came back and didn't play the game that I was playing before. But, I mean, all the same, I mean, it'll be fine. One way or another, it'll be fine, but. Also, yeah, these freaking archers can snipe you from across the map. Absolutely brutal. I did stream a lot though, you're right. I definitely uh, definitely needed the days off for sure. I might actually need Yeah, yeah, just the, the casual 
giga arrows just hanging out. Yeah. I think I, st there, I think there was a item right here, right? Yeah. Um. Yeah, I may, I may be taking a half day on Thursday this week. I have an appointment in the morning at like, I think it's 11 o'clock. So, oh no, oh no, okay. So I'll probably, I'll probably go live after my appointment. I think I'll probably be done by like noon, somewhere in that range. I'm gonna try to go live around noon on Thursday, but I'll be, I'll be taking Wednesdays off because I want to get back to at least for now, uh, I want to get back to some sense of normalcy on my schedule, and I haven't been taking Wednesdays off like I said I was going to. So, I think it's important to get back to that, for sure. This way. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Chief. They're getting sniped. Definitely missed some stuff here, but I am going to go up here first and I will come back. Nice 32 inch QHD gaming monitor. About time I was enjoy playing Elden Ring on it. Nice. My brother, actually, I helped him pick out a new monitor recently. I need to go over there and help him finish building his computer. He got a replacement power supply for the one that was not working. I need to go over there and put it in the system. I've been meaning to do it. I've just been a little bit busy lately. This is what takes me to the Coliseum, which is another, there's another talisman there, actually. You get the uh, Great Jar Arsenal over there. Oh, yeah, 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 that's where the somber stone is, yep. Is this one fully upgraded? Uh, it's plus nine. And I'm at hard cap on strength, so... Basically. Could be a little bit stronger, but it's, it's pretty much there. Uh-huh. <laughs> 
Wow, there's like mad gravel stone over here. Holy shit. Gravel stone is like kind of a rare mat. There's a gank invasion up here that gets you the talisman. A little frustrating though, considering I had to use a lot of heals. Let's go.
I'm not exactly sure where the last uh, torch thing is, but I need to go up here. So while I'm up here, maybe I can see where it is. Oh, I see it. Okay. All right, let me take care of this first, and then I'll come back. Yeah, the difference between, like, a plus 9 and a plus 10 weapon is, is pretty minimal. Compared to, like, a plus 7 to plus 9, like, those two le levels together. Even, like, even, like, plus 8 to plus 9, I believe, is a bigger upgrade. Like, it's obviously still more damage, so... If you have it, cool, but... Yeah, if not, I don't think it matters too much. I think this... No, this isn't it, is it? No. I think it's actually by the boss that's over here. It's over by that waterfall. I may as well kill the Dragonkin soldier while I'm here. Why not? is pretty juicy. This is it right here. Perfect. Go ahead and take care of the... I think that's the last torch over there, but I saw an item up here. Grab this while we're over here. This is the last one. Didn't like it. Ow! Oh! Hey, there's something down here, too. Bow.
Oh man, there's an army chasing me. Oh no. Get out of there! Oh! This one is much weaker than the other one, if I remember right. Why they gotta do us like this, though? Putting the freaking boss in what appears to be the exact same room, you know? Making you think. Okay, I already killed this thing. What the heck? Miss. Oh my god. This is so silly. I love how that doesn't count for an achievement when you kill the other one. That's a little silly. We need to go to Kaled for a little bit. I don't know where his shack is specifically, though. I think we should, uh... I think we should go finish what we came here to do in Celia. Am I gonna play Star Wars Outlaws? Uh, probably not. Remember if I did all three of these. Is this seal still shut? There's another one though. Hold on. There's another gate. It's that it's this gate, the other gate, and then there's some doors in the town that are not open. Yeah, here we go. I think it's just a weapon that's in here, but hey, it's a boss. Why not?
Oh yeah, the Glintstone Staff. This, this Glintstone Staff is insane with Common Azure. I think it actually does more damage because the channel is like as long as you want and as long as you have the FP. So yeah, you can you can delete some stuff pretty harshly. There is an imbued stone sword key around here somewhere. I think it's the one that's back here. It's this one right here. Dude is giga gaming. I want to grab flame, grant me strength while we're around here too. But I need to go to the round table hold and, and do a couple of other little side objectives here before. Get too crazy. Let's go ahead and drop a level right here. I'm going to go to the round table. A couple of things that I want to do. Well, you managed to return. You know what this means. The earth tree has burned you. The fingers remain still, shaken by this turn of events. They are busy consulting the greater will. When they are finished, the fingers will again offer their guidance. But thousands... If not tens of thousands of moons must first pass. No matter for me, but you. How will you ever manage to wait? My, oh my. Well, you know, sometimes you gotta burn a motherfucker, okay? And by that, I mean the Erd tree. Okay. What is that? Oh, yeah, this this one is pretty cool. I have three. I have three fire giant things here. Morgoth's Cursed Sword is pretty cool, though. I guess I don't need the remembrance of the fire giant because I already have the two things, so. It may be thousands upon thousands of more. Oh. Heavens forbid. That is not the domain of mere men. The burning of the earth tree is the first cardinal sin. And you say you seek the power of the rune of death too? The rune of death goes by two names. The other is Destined Death. The forbidden shadow plucked from the Golden Order upon its creation. 
Unleashing the room now would be unthinkable. The fingers would never permit it. Nor would the greater will. Mm. But here we are. The fingers dormant, severing our link to the greater will. The realm and all life in ruins. Impossible events transpire beyond the ken of the fingers. Who is to say that the cardinal sin must be cardinal forever? Go on. Finish the job. Take the course you deem most worthy. You must find kindling. Only the smoldering flame in the great forge of the giants on the highest peak in the lands between. Looking like cousin it right now. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But special kindling is required to reignite the flame. For the flame to burn the earth tree, a sacrifice is needed of one who envisions the flame and can lead you to the rune of death. You must find the source for the flame can The veteran set is great. Gotta get Moog's freaking drippy robe, though. Give me some 20k runes here. Hey, hey, look! 20k runes! What do you know? Love it. Alright. Did the drip. Kind of drips, not gonna lie, but yeah. Those who live all the more. Those who all the more. Well, well. Another fool who won't listen to reason, eh? But with a prowess for weed in death root. Hmm. How would you like to earn the strength of beasts? If you're inclined to haunt more of those who live in death and weed their death root. Then I'll introduce you to Garank, the beast clergyman. I have a matter of my own to attend to, and the beast himself wishes for someone to take my place. What say you? Very well. Show me your map. I've marked the location for you, of a hidden gateway. It will lead you to Garank, the beast clergyman. What is it? The map indicate will lead you. Okay, if you say so. Good lord. What's Roger up to right now? Well, what freaking use you are, dude? Good lord. Well, I took you no matter. Lay out your arms. Lay out your arms. Let's get smithing. I am pleased. Would you like me now? All right. Hold me, mommy. You are so. My dear, might I ask something of you? Could you please find the owner of this dagger and return it to them? 
certain person gave it to me as a gift. It's a very precious thing. It must have a special place in the owner's heart. So I would like for the original owner to have it back, if you wouldn't mind. I'd like you to find the owner. It's a very pre... Then good day. Okay, mommy. is it? The map indicate will lead you to... Well, what have we here? How did you get your hands on that dagger? Well, that hardly matters. I know very well whose dagger it is. Why don't I return it to them for you? Good work bringing this to me. Did you need some... Pink? You can just do this. And then some shit hits the fan. A murder most foul. Finally, it is returned to its rightful place. The stolen Hallobrand of the exalted noble. And now... I must bid you goodbye as well, though I ask you deliver this message to the round table hold. Our hark round table. Disturb not the death of Godwin, the exalted, live in waiting. To one day, welcome our lord. What right does anyone have to object? Our lord will rise. The lord of the many. And the meek. Damn, she took care of business, dude. Jesus Christ. Now, I think... You can now just go here. And fight Fortisax if you want to. Oh, yeah. And I already have the curse wheel, so... Ah, there you are. I knew you would come. What is it you intend? To deny us and our ways, like the dogmatic brutes of the Golden Order? No, I want you to hold me, Mommy. You are an odd one. I am the guardian of those who live in death. They call me a foul and rotten witch. Yet you still wish to be held by me? Have you ever seen a Hallowbrand? When the first of the demigods died, his flesh was marked with the half-wheel wound of the centipede. Godwin's Hallowbrand has since been recovered at the Round Table Hold. But there is another Hallowbrand out there somewhere, and I must find it before the time comes we receive our Lord. When Godwin died, a Hallowbrand scored his flesh. But another exists. Another mark in the shape of the half-wheel wound of the centipede. And I must find it. Before the time comes we receive our lord. My hands will be dirtied once more by the deed. Will you still let me hold you? Even then? This is the other Hallowbrand. How did you... Oh, my utmost thanks. I just pulled With some this, strings. That's all I did. Godwin can take his rightful place as first of the dead and claim a second illustrious life. You are my, our true champion. And though I can't be of any use to you, can I hold you tight? If only for a moment. We're going to get the insane turbo juicer Baldican's blessing. Oh. I will soon lay with Godwin. 
and it will surely stir within me the new life of the golden prince and first dead of the demigods as the rune of those who live in death please do one thing for me brandish this child my rune and take for yourself the throne stay the persecution of those who live in death by becoming our Elden Lord. I will to conceive my brandish my stay the by becoming. I think to speed this up a little bit, we can do this situation. Press Y. Be held. Yes, please. Please hold me. This is goodbye, my dear. But I am satisfied. I choose to lie with Godwin of my own will. Not the remains of one chosen for me. And I will bear a child who will inherit your warmth too. What greater blessing could there be but to be born a deathbed companion? She's asleep and this boss can be really annoying. This is a really cool boss, though. Good. 
That was a little silly, though. That's Godwin the Golden. That's that's Gotti G, dude. Oh shit, Gotti G, dude. D shows up eventually. Well, his brother or whatever. No, I, I think it's... Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't remember. I think he's gone now, though. He's dead. Dead, I tell ya. Alright, I keep meaning to do this, but yeah, the, uh... There's a fort around here. Fort Gale, they call it. I think it's this right here, if I'm not mistaken. There's a talisman. The Star Scourge heirloom. And then there's also... Flame Grant Me Strength is at that fort as well. It's this one up there, it's not this one. So I do need to wrap up the stream fairly soon. So I might have to save the any percent glitchless routing for tomorrow. I was hoping that I would get to it today. Ow. I was hoping I would get to it today, but I don't think I'm going to have enough time before dinner time. And I guess I could come back for a little bit, but um, probably going to need like 20 some odd minutes for dinner, so I don't think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do all that. I'll probably just finish up tomorrow. I don't think we have too much uh, left to get, though. It's mainly just grabbing talismans. All right, this is the heirloom right here. Flame grant me strength. Oh, no. It's outside, but it's not far. And run around the back side. I think you can also get to it. Oh, God. Okay, this works too. This is it right here. Oh, God. Get out of there, dude. Jesus.
think I got the Stargazer Heirloom yet. Oh, yeah, no, no, I did get that one. Hold on. The only one I don't have is the, uh, the Dex one, but you have to do part of the Millicent quest, and I don't think I can do that yet. Trying to see if there's any. Let's see if there's any ones that I can get like fairly quickly. None of them are particularly convenient right now. So many talismans, it's crazy. Actually crazy how many talismans there are. So I think I'll save. Some of this stuff for tomorrow. Yeah, there's just show there's just so many there's so many talismans. It's kind of crazy. I, I funny enough, I already have a lot. But there's there's still way more. Way more. There's like 80 total, and I have like maybe 30. Uh, I got 43 of them. So I have about half. About half of them. But I do need to... I do need to get a few more. I might not try. I'm definitely not going to try to get all of them, but I'm going to try to get the ones that I think would be useful for the DLC. But I don't really have any more time today. Today had to kind of be a short stream. I should have mentioned that earlier in the day, but um, I'll be back tomorrow, of course. So let me find a good place to. I guess I could just go to the round table. Should be fine. Let me see, does Gideon have any other dialogue here? I got a couple minutes. <sighs> what is it? Oh, jeez. There are four more demigods yet to be located. Nicola of the Halig Tree. The Unalloyed. His twin, Melania. The undefeated swordswoman. Luna Princess Rani, daughter to Renala. And the one only known as the Lord of Blood. Rani is said to have cast aside her great rune. So here at the Hold, we seek the whereabouts of the remaining three shard bearers. If you should learn anything of these matters, I'll trade your findings for a hidden treasure or a long lost rite known only to me. 
We both desire to stand before the Elden Ring and become Elden Lord. As such, I hope we are compelled to work together. All right. Oh, so that's where the so-called Lord of Blood was hiding himself, eh? A fitting little squat for that deluded maniac to bleat about the revival of his precious dynasty. While he turns our fellow tarnished into bloody fingers, let him stay there. That way, his delusions will remain as they are, distant and unattainable. But perhaps it's worth looking into. If what I've heard is right, then maybe. Ah, my apologies. Lost myself for a moment there. The information you've shared is of great value. As promised, your reward. And it is a wondrous thing indeed. You are a true fellow. All I ask... A true fellow. ...is that you remain constant. Beaver's cookbook. Ah, uh, I see. So Mikola was with the Lord of Blood after all. That is some fine intelligence indeed. With it, the final clue has been brought into the light. One of the last few pieces the round table. I need to put everything together. As promised, allow me to impart to you the last of the secret rites known only to me. There are four Mikola, his twin, Luna Prince, and Ranius. I love how, like, I haven't even located, uh... As such. I love how it doesn't even... Like, I didn't do the Melania one, and it's... It just... It just assumed that, you know... I've already done that one. He's like, oh, that's all I have to offer. So we can get one through four smithing stones. Not bad. All right, let me just see how many runes we're looking at. Let me just see what we're looking at in terms of like what I have on hand. 30. Oh, I have a lot. Um, 116. How much is a level right now? Back already. Oops. Hold on. That's my bad. How much is the level right now? 85. Okay. So if I could hypothetically get my hands on like 100 and. What is it? 175 probably is about what I need. Back over. No matter. I don't think would be a problem. Because there's 110. That's probably enough for two levels. Probably. And then we also have Ortisax's Remembrance. So we can spend that for sure. Might be able to come up with 88k. I want to still save some runes though, because like if I have at least a couple of runes pocketed, well, I took you no matter lay out your own. Might not be the worst thing. Right now I'm sitting on probably about a hundred, little over a hundred thousand runes just banked. So I don't think that I want to sell too many more of those because I do want to have some on hand just in case those things like worth buying in the DLC.
Oops. Okay. Alright, this is a good stopping point. Thank you all so much for hanging out. I'll be back tomorrow. I'll be doing a full stream tomorrow. Should be able to get a full eight or nine hours in. And I, I, I'm pretty confident we'll wrap up the rest of this file tomorrow. I probably could wrap it up today if I was going for a full stream, but I started late today and I wasn't feeling great. And I do need to get to bed at a good time today and to help my fiance this evening because she's back to work tomorrow. So we will definitely carry on though. Does G Fuel keep me up? Uh, I don't drink it at night. It's definitely not that. It's it's just anxiety and other stuff. Other stuff. Normally, I'm pretty good about getting to bed at like a decent time. Since uh, since getting onto a semi consistent streaming schedule, but. Yeah, I get I get seasonal depression pretty often around this time of year, so I'm just I'm trying to work through it right now. We still have a couple of months until Elden Ring DLC, so last year my seasonal depression was mitigated by the fact that RE4 came out around the time it normally sets in, so I like had something to keep my mind preoccupied. Unfortunately, we don't have the same thing happening this year, so I'm kind of just dealing with it right now, which I don't I don't like just dealing with it. I like to have a plan in place, but I'll be OK. Just got to got to work through it like I usually do. So, but yeah, we'll be fine. Um, thank you all so much for hanging out. Though. I do appreciate it. I will throw my socials in the chat. If you all are watching on YouTube, those socials are in the description. I will also throw a link to my VOD channel in the chat as well. This playthrough will be on my VOD channel, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to append my first playthrough of the DLC to this this VOD, and I'm probably going to release this closer to when the DLC comes out. I'm probably going to hang on to this playthrough and release it a little bit later. Right now, we're still working through Dragon's Dogma. We still have a few more days of that before we wrap up with the Dragon's Dogma releases on the VOD channel, and then I think I'll probably do Sekiro and Arch Thrones after that, and then my VOD channel will probably slow down a little bit as we start getting into like speed runs and stuff, but I'll try to see if I can't find some filler content to throw on the VOD channel while while we don't have like anything crazy new coming, but we should still be chilling on the VOD channel for at least like another two weeks, somewhere in that range. So we'll just have to fill about a month and a half worth of content on the VOD channel. I don't know how we'll do it yet, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll do a couple other first playthroughs while we still have some time, but I do want to learn how to speed run this, so. And then, uh, obviously, I'll be putting my runs on my main channel when I start getting PBs, so. Anywho, thank you all so much for hanging out. I'll be back tomorrow at 9 a.m. I will try not to stream late today like I did the last couple of days. Try to be back to normal there. And then Wednesday, uh, another friendly reminder, Wednesday, I'm going to take off as part of my normal days off situation. And Thursday will probably be a half day because I have an appointment in the morning, so. Uh, I'll keep you guys posted if anything changes, but uh, make sure you guys join the Discord, by the way. That is where I post all of my stream updates, so if for whatever reason I'm not live or whatever, uh, and I haven't said anything on stream about it, you will usually find those updates in the Discord, so I highly recommend joining that. Um, it's a nice free way to get updates about my content and mingle with friends in the community while I'm not online, so definitely do that. Also, don't forget about our sponsor, HelloFresh. Today's stream is not sponsored by HelloFresh, but I am going to have the overlay going up for the next two weeks. Just as a friendly reminder to anybody, if you have the opportunity to check them out and possibly subscribe, uh, I do get a kickback on the stream when you do that. And if we hit three subscribers to HelloFresh, I will do a speedrun marathon sometime next week. And I don't know what the games are going to be for that yet, but it'll, it'll be stuff related to what I've been streaming lately, so... Um, you can expect Souls-like slash horror games to be in the marathon. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Thank you all so much for hanging out, and I will see you all tomorrow.
Take care, everybody.